Biggie's not here today. If you've uh, just joined us, BB Shea is filling it marvelously, as always. Thank yes. you. He said to himself, he's got a little ring rust. He's, uh, you know, he doesn't come right yeah. in with. <laughs> yeah. Hell of a ring. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Chris Dim said, said you got ring it's, rust. It's a, in the boxing terms, yeah. it's ring rust. He hasn't been in the ring in a while. That's right. Because yeah. he, he filled in for Biggie for like six weeks while Biggie was in a facility. He was in the best shape of his life. Yeah. We didn't know that Biggie, would ever, Biggie was in the worst shape of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Two lines passing on a yeah. diagram. <laughs> you were like Rocky as you trained up. Yeah. You know? He was just the old chap. I got you. Bad. <laughs> So f- his shoulders. Uh, this is Biggie's words, not mine. He got so fat, he was uh, at the precipice of death, and we had to send him to a facility to get better, to get himself back into shape. Well, in the meantime, since he's been back, and Biggie's just out for a day or two now, not feeling well, mm. B.B. Shea's got some ring rust. So, mm-hmm. you know, you say stuff like, "What? do you, you have a thought on that, B.B. Shea? And he's just whistling and looking around. You know? <laughs> Didn't you have a thought about I mean, that? We had, we had this in rehearsal. <laughs> Yeah, at rehearsal. <laughs> Nobody's drinking during rehearsal. He doesn't even That's the thing. Yeah. He's just whistling around. Yeah. I thought ring rust was around the uh, around the tub. <laughs> no, no, no. And he no. was swirling. No, no, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> around the drain. Well, here's what he's known for: BB shit, contrarian. You know, things I like, he hates. Things mm-hmm. he likes, I don't like. You know, give you an example. Uh, we discussed the Cusacks one day, <laughs> and uh, you know, John Cusack. I think most people think he's a really good actor. Not BB Shay. He'll take Joan. Yeah. Give me Joan all day. Give her Joan Cusack. <laughs> Was she in Flintstones? No, I don't no, think so. Uh, I don't either, but I she could have been. Yeah. You know, well, Joan, he would have loved, that's loved that's it. That's right. Yeah. Now, then he just came out here and he said, I watched a classic movie for the first time the other day at, at Caddyshack. Mm-hmm. So I said, what did you think of Caddyshack? Terrible. Hated it. You didn't. Unfunny. Like- Unfunny. Yes. Well, now Chris Tim agrees with you. He, yeah. he thinks it's over. I, he thinks people, it's over. I know people can quote it verbatim, mm-hmm. and I've watched it multiple times, and I find it incredibly overrated. Yeah. As a comedy, I mean, there are funny people in it, but man, what a waste! It seems like that. You know, I did see a, a like a behind the scenes on that one time. They all just kind of got together and made it up as they went along. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can tell. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, you can smell the coat coming out of half the scenes. Yeah. Oh, it's true. That's true. You know, one scene that I don't like in Caddyshack, I think it's terrible, it's when um, Bill Murray did not get along very well with Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase is known as being hard to work with. Yeah, not like each other. And they didn't like each other at all. And they're the two main stars and, like, the two young, really hot stars at that time. And there's no scenes with them. And somebody said, I guess Harold Ramis, who wrote it, said, uh, we've got to get them together in a scene. So at one point... Chevy Chase is like playing golf at night, and he goes into Bill Murray's shack, and they just they just made up their lines as they went, and that's like wasted. There's no point in it no. at all. But smoke pot, yeah, and smoke pot together. But they're not even in any scenes at all together. You know, they're totally different. But you didn't like like Bill Murray, like it's in the hole, you know. Cinderella, 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 Cinderella. It was just like Cinderella. silly to me. It was just stupid. Oh man, fifty bucks. The smells kid eats it. Oh, <laughs> no, no. oh. The, the poop in the pool wasn't funny. Like the baby it was Ruth, just like baby Ruth in the pool. No. The only funny thing was Rodney Dangerfield and his golf bag. That's it? That was it to me. You didn't like the old Billy, 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 Billy. Oh, no. <laughs> Billy Baroo. What do we have? Do we have the Billy Baroo? We have the, we have the Billy Baroo. Billy, 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 Billy. Whoa, Billy, Billy. The old Billy Baroo? <laughs> nah. You don't, like, you don't like pick up that blood? You don't like... <laughs> you, don't, you ain't getting no coke. You don't like Dr. Beeper snake a tube down her uh, nose and I'll be back in three or four hours? You don't no. Like, you don't like the... You buy, you buy this hat and get a free bowl of soup? <laughs> <laughs> If BB uh, Shea comes in here, if it was good, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. If BB Shea comes in here the next time he's in, whether mm. it be for a Friday wrap up or mm. if Biggie's unwell, mm. and he comes in and says, "I loved Caddyshack too." Two. Oh, 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 God! <laughs> That's a oh. dagger. Part of you will die. Oh my God! <laughs> that is awful. Nobody was back for Caddyshack too. The great Jackie Mason carries that one, <laughs> and it is terrible. Yeah. Was Chevy Chase making an appearance in Caddyshack too? Maybe for a half a scene. It is awful. Maybe real quick at the beginning. But uh, you know, there's. I'll tell you what's. I think is the, one of the funnier things in the movie that completely goes unnoticed. You know, the caddies take over the pool the one day. That's when there's the baby Ruth in the pool. Yeah, from twelve to twelve ten. That's it. <laughs> the sign. Sign. The sign says Caddy Day. Caddies welcome. Twelve to twelve fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> that's clever. I thought that was clever too. But it's quick. You know, it was on the other day on real on like regular TV. I was watching it. Yeah. And my son and daughter have never seen it, and they just walked through the room, and they were showing the gopher. You know. 
And my daughter said, "That's the fakest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. That's totally fake." But I said that was the point. You know, they yeah, wanted to be. They wanted to make it fake looking like that. Mm-hmm. I can't believe you didn't like the old Billy Baru. <laughs> no <laughs> imagination. No, 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 no the, fantasy. Uh, what, what about the Dave scene? The uh, the the guy playing in the rain. I love the, the you, you people quote that line oh, all the, the priest? time. The preacher, the priest playing in the rain, and they always. I don't think the hard stuff coming down for a while. That, I hear that once a week. When the, when it starts to rain anywhere. People say, I don't think the hard stuff. And it's and it's just pouring. I always rain, say that. You know, hell, I say that. Of course. Yeah, hard stuff's not going to come down for quite some time. I've never had such a great run. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord would not fight me on the greatest day of He's hitting up on top of a hill. <laughs> if that God would strike me down. Rat fart. He misses the putt. So great. Yeah, he missed the putt. <laughs> Oh my God! And you didn't like it. No. And we're sitting here quoting it to you. Yeah. Don't you love it when you say you don't like something? And they yeah. just keep and going. Right on and on. Was there? Uh, yeah. Wasn't there like a bit of TNA in there too? The the blonde with the weird name. Lacey Underalls. Yeah. 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 I was born to. Lo- I was born to love you. I was born to rub you. You were born to rub me back. <laughs> you didn't like Lacey Underalls. She was terrible. Chevy Chase is playing the keyboard. Mm-hmm. Want to yeah. tie me up with some of your ties? Tie. Ty, Ty Webb. Mitch Cumstein. You didn't like any of those. <laughs> <laughs> These no. are classic Man, Hollywood characters. Classic. How can you not like okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's it, then. Uh, yeah. I won't keep doing this because I don't like They play Napoleon Dynamite, and they know I hate oh, that I movie. I love that movie. I, I absolutely love that movie. I think it's the, one of the worst things ever on screen, and I find that people either absolutely love it or hate it. And sometimes they, these two will play Napoleon Dynamite, and I just sit here and stew. You know, yeah. like, mm, mm. <laughs> so here's that's what we're doing with you, and that's not fair. That's so when one right. of your friends this Saturday, you're going out and play golf, B.B. Shea, when somebody hits a shot and it's kind of crappy, just a... That's a peach, huh? I, I love that one. That's one of my favorites. Uh, that, that's that's exactly right. Mrs. Have a camp. Yeah. <laughs> well, I bet you're long and lean and not too far between. <laughs> <laughs> but you were something back before electricity. <laughs> we, should, we should play Caddyshack so more. Many wait a minute. Oh, this wait guy a won't let it. I know. He we, pulls the plug on he it. He does. We play Jaws. Yeah, he and likes and play we play Jaws. Shawshank. We don't play Caddyshack. Yeah, I don't like it. No, he doesn't. So meanwhile, a dim report. I saw this right before the program uh, began uh, today. Alaska Airlines, which flies uh, almost exclusively on the west coast of the U.S., is testing a new program that they say will speed up the check-in process even more. Now, as of now, most airlines, domestic, will let you check in 24 hours before your flight is scheduled to depart. You can do it sometimes through your app if you have like a Delta app or United app on your phone. Mm -hmm. Uh, But you may still have to drop off your luggage or print luggage tags at the counter. Mm -hmm. So that's still an interface, a human-to-human interface. You can start it at the kiosk, but you have to go to the desk to get your ticket, Mm -hmm. your, your, your tag, and that's where they take your bags. Alaska Air says they are experimenting with new technology that will let you skip that line. You use their app, Mm -hmm. again, up to 24 hours pre-flight, and activate your electronic bag tags. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then when you're at the airport, you simply take your phone out, touch it to the tag, and it displays your flight information. Basically, you tag your own bags. Yes. Which reduces friction and some of the lines at the check-in process. We're only going to test it maybe by the end of the year at San Jose. It's pretty smart. Only for uh, frequent flyers, but yes. Yeah, but that would get... A lot of people through. Anything to get people out of line. Well, did and you know what else? Mm. Cuts down their workers. Well, I, I bet. It, I bet they'll mm-hmm. cut staff. That's always the way. Isn't I, it? I bet that's the. I bet that will be a, a, an end result. Eventually. It, eventually. Of course, they'll cut their staff. Yeah, you're right now, they your own stuff. Right, yeah. right now, they don't have staff. Well, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Nobody works anywhere. I mean, a lot mm-hmm. of people are looking for staff. Uh, it reminded me. We heard a couple of weeks ago a, a place I frequent called Chicken and Pickles. Uh, they have something, a new express drive through lane. They're testing it at 60 restaurants right now, and they're hoping to go nationwide with it. It's called drive through Express. You order on the app, and then when you get there, uh, they you have to scan a QR code in what's called the drive through Express lane, and you just go through and pick up your food. I mean, you just go through, and it's waiting. Does a human hand it to you, or is it in a box or a cubby? And they say it's, uh, I think... I believe it is waiting for you like on a ledge, but humans keep running it out there, and you just pick but it it's up. it's outdoors. It's outdoors. Because you don't ever get out of your car. They, they say this is uh, Jonathan Lassiter, who is one of the head chefs at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Did he go Johnson and Wales? <laughs> no, you went out in California somewhere. <laughs> 
Oh, what's the Atlanta? <laughs> Try the they have a place in Atlanta. Lasseter. Sorry, he's the he's the head chef of the uh, <laughs> Southwest Division of uh, Chick. They're testing in Phoenix. Yeah, so yeah. That's one of the sponsors. In Phoenix. Yeah, I said he says uh, this is the easiest way to pick up a meal. The express drive-through is a game changer mm. for our clientele and our team members. Well, I think it's smart if you have app only to do that. But but right. the interface, yeah. the pickup is still a question. He, he says the lengthiest part of our drive-through ordering process is the wait to get your order taken. The express line cuts down on ordering and payment time significantly because you're doing on the apps already paid for, you know, and then you just go through, uh, customers get access to greater speed, ease, convenience, yeah. and what they want most mm -hmm. are delicious nuggets, fries, Chick-fil-A Chick sandwiches. But the Chick-fil-A process is like no other restaurant. I mean, <laughs> not like McDonald's, not like Wendy's. I mean, they, they have more people outside working in, than yes. they do inside, yes. or just as many. And it's yes. a more streamlined menu. It's very streamlined. They know people don't, people just don't care about going in. They want to come, like you, mm -hmm. Kelly. I mean, they, want, right the, they want their pickle, right they want their chicken, they want to drive. I tell you what, though, I used to, before the pandemic, I would go at peak hours, and it would be packed inside, and they'd have the drive through lane. Mm -hmm. Now, it disappoints me a bit. Inside, when I sometimes I go in to pick up my order, I order through the app and I go in to pick it up, and the inside's always half full or less. I mean, there's never like is it old people and and uh, parents with little kids? It's parents with kids a lot of times. So, yeah, those those things is what I see. Mm -hmm. But nobody wants to sit around that. The, when I go in, <laughs> they just. I mean, I I don't like that because I just like. I yearn for the old days where people sit together and have a good meal. You know, where you sit down <laughs> and have a good meal. Uh, by the way, so far they've been testing it for a month and it's really worked. They have seen a a huge increase in speed for people that are using it on the app. Go through, scan your QR, QR code. There's the order. Bam, you're out. When you uh, two questions. When mm. you place your order through the app, yes. Do can you select when you want to pick it up, or is the clock start? Now the way I do it. Now I, I order through the app a lot. And I could order right now. Okay. Sir Appalot. I'm Sir Appalot. Okay. <laughs> Here's two reasons I use the app. One. A lot of times when I use it, they say, oh, you've accumulated enough points to get a free sandwich. Yep. And you don't do that when you just go through the drive-thru. They just tell you. Know, and it says, mm -hmm. oh, you get a free yeah, fries. the hoi ploy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> You're a frequent fryer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm in the frequent fryer club. And... uh and by the way, the head chef at my uh, chicken, <laughs> they know me. They, yeah. they, they'll wave a hand. Hey, welcome hey, to hey, you hey, 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 You're Mr. Kelly. Hey, I see you coming. Hey, I got your chickens. <laughs> so anyway, the second reason I like the – well, the, here's what happens when you use the app. You, uh, I could type it in there now. You get the order exactly like you want it, as Biggie says. You typed it, Hoss. <laughs> and then when you get to the restaurant, you say, I'm here. Mm -hmm. And you, and then it, I think that's when they start to make it, honestly. Okay. Because so, so, they don't bother making it. And so as soon as I pull in, I hit the clip thing, Have I'm here. Have you tried to game the system and, like, hit I'm here when you're at the light? Yes. Oh, of course. Not in the line? Yes, many times. I, I'll tell you something else, though. If you choose the location, and I go to a certain one, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say where it is. Mm -hmm. Paparazzi's everywhere. Right. So I I go to a certain one. It will. I hit it now for that one. It won't pop up like the "I'm here" doesn't pop up until I get within a mile of it. You know, yeah. it, it oh. knows. I see you're getting close. It, yeah, push it's, the button. Yeah, That's it's right. sentient. I've seen it, 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 it's as sentient as anything I've ever seen. <laughs> it's more sentient than BB Shack. <laughs> <laughs> He's got sentient all over him. He got sentient written all. I can so smell he, the sentient. Here's my. Here's my. Uh, uh, quite uh, a sentient you yeah, got. Yeah. So thank you for that. That's my my second question is. Yes. If you ever are in a, a traditional line mm -hmm. at Chicken and Pickles, where the menu is pretty well known, yes. and the, you know people, it, it's I'm, I don't want to call it a cult, right? But when people get up there, <laughs> do you still hear people get to the menu order board and go, "Oh, <laughs> yes, I do." What do I want today? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. You still hear that? I do, but I don't even know why Chicken and Pickles has the menu board anymore. Because every time I go, there's kids standing yeah, there with their before you even get to you it. You never even use it. Yeah, you never get to the, to the board. Very rare. Very Is it just rare. some old person wearing a headset inside? I don't even know if they're doing that. I mean, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who won't retire. <laughs> Well, we have to Please, pay him. drive to the window. <laughs> He's been here 13 years. <laughs> Make the bell ring. Do something. <laughs> can, he, can he just tell you it's my pleasure before you go? 
Guy sitting there with a cow hat on. It's like the Maytag repair man. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody ever goes. Nobody goes. It's these teenagers with iPads yeah. now. You know, yeah. that's, that's what you're doing. Back in my day, we said, may I take your order, please? <laughs> this will go wipe off a table. I mean, now, and they want it now that, you know, when you pay, they just put their iPad toward you and you stick your card into their yeah. little thing and take it back. They don't even touch you or touch mm-hmm. the card or anything. You mm-hmm. just do it yourself. It's the way to go, I guess. Yeah. That's uh, the future. Uh, talking about money, because they print money at these places. <laughs> yeah. Are they publicly traded? Chick-fil-A? Or, yeah, or are they privately? They're still privately owned? You can't buy I stock think they in are. That. They are privately owned. I think they're owned. private. Yeah. Jesus. Boy, the day that went public. Know. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. You but, buy it. But then, you have. <laughs> with, with their, then you have to answer to shareholders. Then, and would they demand, what you know what they would demand? Open on Sunday. Open on Sunday. Yeah, but the shareholders would would demand open on. It'll Sunday. never happen, but they won't do it. No, they won't do it. I mean, well, never say you, never, but never I, say never. I can't imagine You're leaving money on the table. That's the one day everybody wants it, of course, and you can't have on it on Sunday this past week. I thought I'm gonna get some chicken and pickles, and I, then and then what is it dawn on? Oh. They're in your head. Of oh, course, man, man, it's Sunday. Right, so, so you know what? We'll get you on Monday when people really don't well, eat out all that right. much. They sure do. What do you think their busiest day is? Friday, Saturday, Monday, every day. It's a good question. Yeah, I, it's I never not, not gonna, packed. I wasn't going to say Saturdays when I uh, when I, I think the kids are out. Well, it's summer, who knows? But mm-hmm. I think in their school year, I think probably on Saturdays. Do you or after school? I've been. I, I used to take my kids after school, and there was a line at four fifteen, line. four o'clock in the mm-hmm. afternoon. A always line. a line. I know, and it's all kids in cars. But I get it. Well, I got it twice yesterday. Mm. It's never I, not a line. I got twice. it. You can speak to. I, I got it twice. I got it. At, you know, after the gym uh, as a reward. Okay. And then I after, after same restaurant. Yeah, after pickleball. And they said, "Good to see you again, sir." Hey, same kid. Same kid. I drove through mm-hmm. Elijah. Same shift. Same shift. <laughs> and just, that switch shift shifts. Yeah. I said, Elijah, good to see you, Mr. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Your usual. Did you get the same order each time? I did for my. Well, I no, I bumped it up for the second one. I got a twelve piece okay. instead of an eight. Whew, that's a lot of money. That's too much information. Mm-hmm. I'm giving it's TMI, you know. Mm-hmm. And my daughter got a cookie. She goes, I have a cookie. I said, do it. Get a cookie. It's on the app. It's already paid for. Just tap it. Tap I, it twice. I preloaded. <laughs> yeah, tap one for me. Just get it's it. more points. It's so nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good.